Germany permits Ukraine to strike up to 40 kilometers inside Russian territory. Build. Germany has authorized the Ukrainian Defense Forces to launch strikes on Russian territory. At the same time, the radius of destruction is quite small. Build reports. According to Build, German weapons for strikes against Russian territory can be used only in the Kharkiv region. Together with our closest allies and in close dialogue with the Ukrainian government, we are constantly adapting our support to the evolution of the war, says German government spokesperson Stefan Hebestreit. In recent weeks, Russia has prepared, coordinated and carried out attacks from positions in the Kharkiv area, in particular from the directly adjacent Russian border region, he said. Ukraine has the right, guaranteed under international law, to defend itself against these attacks, he added. To do so, it can use the weapons supplied for this purpose in accordance with its international legal obligations, including those supplied by us. In recent days, Chancellor Olaf Scholz has underscored Ukraine's right to defend itself by striking targets inside Russia in accordance with international law, but has remained vague on whether Berlin had given Ukraine permission to use German-provided weapons to do so. Scholz has so far refused to send Ukraine its long-range Taurus cruise missiles, which could be used to strike deep into Russian territory, arguing it could bring Germany into direct confrontation with Russia. But Germany has provided other weapon systems that could potentially be used to strike targets inside Russia near the city of Kharkiv. Two German weapons systems are being considered for strikes on Russia. Panzer Hobbit's 2000 self-propelled howitzer, Mars 2 armored multiple launch rocket system. The radius within which the Ukrainian armed forces can strike with German weapons on Russian territory is small. The maximum area of damage to targets abroad is no more than 40 kilometers, Build adds. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the West has been actively helping Ukraine with weapons, but on the condition that Kyiv does not strike at Russian territory. Recently, more and more allies have begun to reconsider their policies in this regard. Russian soldiers drink their urine, they are in hellish conditions. In an intercepted phone call published by Ukraine's security service, a Russian stormtrooper described devastating Ukrainian first-person view drone attacks causing heavy losses to Russian troops situated near Kupiansk in the Kharkiv sector. Kyiv Post media outlet reported this. Special forces of the Special Operations Center A of the Ukraine's security service, together with their comrades from the Ukrainian Defense Forces, daily destroy the invaders trying to break through the front in the Kharkiv region, the Ukraine's security service report said. The Ukraine's security service released a radio interception of a conversation between a Russian stormtrooper and his mother. According to the conversation, Russian forces are under constant fire from Ukrainian defenders and are forced to hide in burrows. In the conversation with his mother, the soldier said, The command are taking us out the other day because there is nothing left of us. There should be 126 soldiers, but there is nothing left there. A rumble and a series of explosions are then heard in the background. The Russian serviceman explained that a kamikaze drone just flew over him and his comrades, adding, It's the kind of swear word that flies and explodes. It destroys military equipment. We're hiding now. Swear word. I read all the prayers. It's a homemade drone and it's stuffed with explosives. It doesn't drop ammunition but crashes into the equipment, the Russian soldier said. When his mother asked if it was possible to somehow shoot down this drone, he answered in the negative, noting that the drone accelerates to 160 kilometers an hour. Asked by his mother if they are in a shelter, the Russian stormtrooper replied, Mom, people here have been sitting without water for nine days. They drink their own urine. For me, a basin of water would be a joy. He and other soldiers live in burrows located in the remnants of the forest where they can only sit. And there you sleep. You fight from it. You eat there. There's a toilet there. Well, how can you call it a shelter? The Russian soldier told his mother. In two nights, we slept maybe an hour. Do you know how much we have left of the company? We have either 63 or 73 wounded and about 10 people dead, he added. Last year, Kyiv Post interviewed Maria, who works for Ukrainian intelligence as a professional eavesdropper. She talked about some of the shocking things she heard. Russia regularly dismisses the content of intercepted calls published by Ukraine, saying they are fake, a claim Maria denied. She said, yes, they are all real, even though they might seem insane. 
Sometimes I can't believe the words I'm hearing myself. But we have what we have. In another intercepted phone call, published by Ukraine's military intelligence, a Russian commander threatened a soldier that barrier troops would kill him and his comrades if they refused to go on an assault in the Kharkiv region.